Welcome back to another video you guys. Today's gonna, I'm going to be doing something a little different than what you've seen in the past. Um, uh, a, a while back my, uh, my wife's car window here, uh, she was driving down the road and something hit it and it shattered and uh, um, at the time I, um, I checked around and everywhere that would, could fix it. Um, it. It would take them a while to do it and the cost of the, the repair was was close to a thousand dollars and so I was a little hesitant to just fork out that money and thought I'd do it myself so temporarily I just I taped it up um, with some black tape on the inside and out because it is shattered the entire thing shattered and it was just falling to pieces you can actually kind of see um, you know how spongy the entire thing is both yeah it's just, just shattered a glass went all over the inside of the car and uh, was falling out and so uh, I wanted to see if I could replace it myself um, and so I'm going to show you how I'm going to accomplish that. So as you can see, the rest of the glass is what's basically stuck to the adhesive. And so uh, I'm gonna work next on separating the, uh, the adhesive from the, the, uh, the car. All right, I'm gonna start first with the, with the razor blade. Let's see if we can't get through some of this. That'll work. It's a nice sharp razor blade.
So here I have those three pieces that were on the old window. Uh, they align the glass. There's these uh, markers on the glass, the, these little arrows that help me align it, and they, uh, they snap in, um, but the adhesive that's on them is uh, basically a thicker 3M tape. So what I'm going to be doing is replacing that adhesive and sticking these to the, to the new window um, so that we could align it properly and adhere it. If you listen closely when I go to adhere the glass, you'll hear the three snaps. So I'm just going to clean up the uh, border where I'm going to be adhering this. I'm just using isopropyl alcohol and uh, a microfiber cloth to get it all nice and clean. So I mentioned earlier that the reason I had wanted to do this myself was to save some money. I think that the lowest quote that I got was something in the high, it was like 850, 899, something like that. But majority of people were around a thousand um, dollars to replace this this window. And I was uh, looking on eBay and I found uh, this glass for 160. Uh, definitely a savings there. So I'm going to go ahead and clean the uh, inside of the glass where I'm going to be putting the adhesive with isopropyl alcohol and some microfiber cloths. And then I'm going to add new uh, tape to uh, the clips um, uh, so that I can get them stuck on there nice and tight. So if you look really closely right there, you'll see the arrows that will help align the clips. And there's these arrows in the three corners. You can see how strong they hold on to the glass. So here I'm using some 3M window weld. That's what I was recommended at the auto parts store. Sorry about the wind. Uh, the uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it a specific way with a V notch so that I can get a nice uh, high, uh, even flow uh, of this adhesive as I uh, squeeze it around the glass. It's extremely difficult to to squeeze by hand, so I'd recommend uh, putting the tube on the, on the dash in the window so that it can warm up for a bit before attempting this. But with enough patience and enough uh, uh, stress relief in the, in the wrist, you, uh, I was able to get it to go around nice and evenly. Listen for those three distinct clicks.
Now I'm going to close the back door, make sure it aligns properly with the glass and that everything looks right. So I ended up putting some tape on it just to secure it overnight and uh, later today I'll take that tape off and uh, should be good. <laughs>